AI is already changing the way we create, distribute, and listen to music, and will only continue to become better in doing so. But what exactly does the future hold for AI in music production? That's what this video is about. AI is currently being applied in almost every part of the music industry, from music composition to production to how you as a listener find a perfect song to listen to. Spotify uses a sophisticated AI algorithm to analyze details like the kind of music you've been playing on repeat, your playlists, and even the songs you search for to provide personalized music recommendations for you. With a new DJ feature, you don't have to browse through all those made for you playlists by Spotify because you have your own personal DJ. It is only fair to say that the way we listen to music is about to change completely. I mean, we don't have to be restricted to rigid playlists. However, streaming apps are not the only place where AI is used in the music industry. Do you know that AI is also a big deal in concerts and live performances? Most of the visual effects you see at music concerts are made by AI. Also with AI, musicians can create personalized experiences for each of their fans at the concert. Like in Taylor Swift's Era Store, the wristbands worn by the Swifties are made by an LED company called Pixmob. The wristbands are equipped with wireless LED lights that are controlled by infrared transmitters placed throughout the arena. The wristbands can then be synced to the music, lighting, and even the movement of people in the crowd, creating a dynamic and engaging visual experience. They can also be modified to create a personalized experience for each person in the crowd. But AI can also be used to make all the people involved in the music production jobless except for the person using the AI of course. Multiple musicians have embraced the idea of using AI to not only help in their music production but to take over the process altogether. Grimes is all in on music AI and has been doing a little experimentation with it herself. She has a collection of over 200 completely Grimes AI songs available for content creators to use on any platform. She has also launched a new AI voice software called Elftech which allows users to use her voice to create AI music. Another artist, Francois Pache, has produced the first complete completely AI-generated pop album, while Holly Hendon received praise for an album in which she harmonized with an AI version of herself. All this tells us is that a time is coming when we will just have to accept the use of AI in producing our music or have it replace us completely. Imagine if AI music was a genre on its own. However, one of the main problems amazing musicians have with AI music is how these algorithms are trained because you can't be feeding my music into the software for free, right? While Grimes and others are very okay with AI and their voices being used to make music, others like I Ice Cube and Snoop Dogg are very much against it. Ice Cube says he'll personally sue anybody who uses his voice to make AI music. With the AI Drake rap, it means that the algorithm must have had some idea of how Drake sounds and how his music also sounds. So this ethics and copyright problem with AI is a complex issue to work around. Ice Cube also added that people who use others' voices to make music should have to pay. So does it mean that it's okay? but I just have to pay you first. Without considering the complex copyright and ethical problems AI comes with or the possibility of it stealing away people's jobs, it is exciting to see all the fun possibilities of AI in the music space. You can use AI to create melodies from scratch. Google has already done this with the Magenta project. Ampa Music is also an AI platform that can develop harmonies to complement your melodies. Other platforms like OpenAI's Musenet allow users to create whole compositions by combining melodies, harmonies and rhythms with up to 10 different Instruments. Songwriters can use these platforms to find inspiration for new songs, just like how ChatGPT saved many writers from the writer's block. In the process of mixing and mastering your music, AI can help sound engineers optimize sound levels to ensure that all the various instruments in the song are audible to the audience. For example, with an AI called Lander, you can automatically analyze a track and then apply the most appropriate settings to the track. Afterwards, you can change the settings to your liking. This is more time saving than starting everything from scratch. Looking into the future, there is only one thing to say, AI is here to stay. And this does not apply only to the creative industry or to musicians and artists only. Everybody must be on the lookout to prevent being replaced by AI. One thing to note is that AI isn't necessarily going to be the one to replace you, but a person using AI will. The possibilities with AI here are limitless. With AI, indie artists can compete with record label artists in terms of production because they have all these tools for literally free. Listeners will get customized playlists. Many music apps like Spotify and Deezer already offer these kinds of playlists but let's say there was an update that allows the music to change subtly according to your pace or heart rate while you were maybe jogging that would be nice some people are of the view that ai music does not have the human connection that accompanies songs sung by a real musician i mean just think of it will you even recognize an ai generated song unless you were told that it was made by ai the possibilities with ai are really endless if only the ethical and legal challenges of ai are addressed effectively as ai becomes more powerful in the music industry 
industry, we need to ask ourselves, what is the role and value of humans in the age of AI and how can we ensure that we don't get replaced in our jobs? Do you think AI is necessary in music production? Let me know in the comments.